Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. Today we're looking at a $40 budget Lathril Blade of the Elves deck deck. One of the most popular commanders in recent memory, this Elf with Menace says when she deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1-1 Elf Warrior creature tokens. You can also tap Lathril and 10 untapped elves you control, making each opponent lose 10 life and you gain 10 life. This deck is all about going Voltron, finding ways to force that damage through, creating so many elves you can go wide or drain with Lathril for the win. Now, let's get straight into the deck deck. As always, we're starting off this budget brew with all of that ramp. First on up is Cultivate and Kadama's Reach to search your library for two basic lands, putting one in your hand and the other on the field tapped. There's Rampant Growth to search for one basic land, putting onto the field tapped, and Arcane Signet to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. We have Commander Sphere to add either Golgari colours and Mindstone to add colourless, with both of them having that secondary option to sack to draw cards. Onto the mana dorks, there's Elves of Deep Shadow to add a swamp to your mana pool, dealing one damage to you, and Elvish Mystic to add a forest to your mana pool. Then we also have two more one drop forest mana tappers in Fintorn and Lanoir Elves. And finally, we have Soul Ring, because Soul Ring. Before we get onto all that equipment, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe down below for all things MTG. Subscribing is completely free to do, and it really does help our channel grow and grow. If you're buying cards, then make sure to use Card Market and use our code when signing up. You love to see it. This deck really is all about that Voltron, so now we're looking at that dangerous equipment, enchantments, and protection. First up is Stoneforge Masterwork to give Lathril plus one plus one for each other creature you control that shares a creature type with it, and Alpha Status to give Lathril plus two plus two for each other creature in play that shares a creature type with it. In Elf Tribal, this could get lethal. We've got Crown of Skemthar to give Enchanted Creature plus one plus one for each elf you control and has reach. You can also pay to return this from your graveyard to your hand. And Blackblade Reforged to give Equipped Creature plus one plus one for each land you control. There's Demonic Embrace to give Equipped Creature plus three plus one and flying that you can also cast from your graveyard. And Fallen Ideal to give Enchanted Creature flying, you can sack a creature to give Creature plus two plus one until end of turn. Next is Guy's Embrace to give Enchanted Creature plus three plus three, Trample and can regenerate Enchanted Creature. And Rancor to give Enchanted Creature plus two plus naught, Trample and when Rancor is put into a graveyard, return it to your hand. The more we beef up Lathril, when she gets that menacing damage through, she's creating even more elves. There's Fire Shrieker to give a quick creature double strike, and Loxodon Warhammer to give a quick creature plus three plus naught, trample and lifelink. We've got Haunted Cloak to give a quick creature vigilance, trample and haste, and Sword of Vengeance to give a quick creature first strike vigilance, trample and haste. Vigilance is key here. Attack with Lathril, keep her untapped, and then you have that secondary tapping option to go anytime. There's flashy Blessing of Leeches that loses you one life on your upkeep with that essential free option to regenerate target creature. And Skeletal Grimace to give Lathril plus one plus one and another option to regenerate her. We have Vorak Battlehorns to give a quick creature trample and can't be blocked by more than one creature. And Whisper Silk Cloak to give a quick creature unblockable and shroud. Both these ways give Lathril unblockable, which is key to get those Lathril triggers going. The Cloak will give Lathril shroud though, so making sure this is a later game play is key, as then you won't be able to put anything else on her. There's Alpha Authority to give Enchanted Creature Hexproof and can't be blocked by more than one creature. And Prowler's Helm, this is a quick creature, can't be blocked except by walls. Finally, there's Vow of Malice to give a quick creature plus two plus two and has Intimidate, and Gift of Doom to give Enchanted Creature Death Touch and Indestructible. As we said earlier, now we move on to that protection. First is Snakeskin Veil to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control, giving it hexproof until end of turn. And Tamiyo's Safekeeping to give target permanent you control hexproof and indestructible until end of turn, gaining you two life. There's Bore Umbra to give enchanted creature plus three plus three, and Snake Umbra to give enchanted creature plus one plus one, and has whenever this creature deals damage to a player, you may draw a card. Both with that totem armor. The way Lathril plays, she will become the target on the board whenever she's out, so an abundance of protection is key. Rounding off the Totem Trio is Snake Umbra to give Enchanted Creature plus one plus one and reach. And Kai's Ghost Form, this is when Enchanted Creature dies or is put into exile, return that card to the field under your control. For the final two we have Canopy Cover, this is Enchanted Creature can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. It does also give another option to make Lathril unblockable. And we have Commander Staple Swift Foot Boots to give a quick creature hexproof and haste. 
As we know, in this game, Lathral will become the target. So we've got the Voltron down. Now let's add a few more elves on the board in case Lathral bites the dust. First on up is Abomination of Lanoir, with Vigilance, Menace, and its power and toughness are equal to the number of elf cards in your graveyard. An Arbor Elf that you can tap to untap target forest. There's Birchlaw Rangers to tap two untapped elves you control to add one mana of any colour. And Dwinan that has reach and gives other elves you control plus one plus one. And when Dwinan attacks, you gain one life for each elf you control. There's Wood Elves that when ETBs, search your library for a forest card, putting it into play. And Canopy Tactician to give your elves plus one plus one with the option to tap and add three forests to your mana pool. There's Elvish Arc Druid to also give your elves plus one plus one. It can additionally be tapped to add a forest for each elf you control. And Golgari Fine Broker for some ETB based recursion. We have Immaculate Magistrate to tap and put a 1-1 counter on target creature for each elf you control and Imperious Perfect to give your other elves plus 1 plus 1. You can also pay to tap and create an elf warrior creature token. There's Marwin the Nurturer, this is whenever another elf ETBs put a 1-1 counter on Marwin. You can also tap her to add an amount of forest equal to her power. For the final four, there's Rex Age, the ETBs destroying target artifact or enchantment, and Shaman of the Pack, the ETBs making target opponent lose life equal to the number of elves you control. We have Timberwatch Elf to tap and give target creature plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of elves on the field, and Wellwisher that you can tap to gain one life for each elf in play. That could be huge. As always, before we round up with those lands, we're looking at the best of the rest in this budget brew. First up is Tyvar Kel to allow our elves to be tapped for a swamp. It also allows us to put counters on our creatures, create elves, and if we can ult Tyvar, then we get an emblem that says whenever we cast an elf spell, it gains haste until end of turn and you draw two cards. A Mastermind's Acquisition for some card tutoring action. The Shamanic Revelation to draw a card for each creature you control, with that Ferocious to gain four life for each creature you control with power four or more. An Elven Ambush to create an elf token for each elf you control. We have removal staples in Beast Within to destroy target permanent with its controller creating a 3-3 beast token. And split second living Crow Sand Grip to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Finally, there's Nature's Claim to destroy target artifact or enchantment, its controller gains 4 life. And Putrefy to destroy target artifact or creature. So now we're finishing up with all of those lands. First, looking at all of those basics, where in this deck we have 18 forest and 10 swamp as this deck does heavily lean towards that green. We have Staples Command Tower to add either Golgari colours, and Exotic Orchard to add one mana of any colour that a land and opponent controls could produce. There's Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse to sack and search our library for a basic land, putting it onto the field tapped. We've got Rogue's Passage for some unblockable action, and Path of Ancestry to add either Golgari colours, scrying one if you use that mana to cast an elf spell. Finally, there's Grim Backwards to add colourless or as a secondary card draw option, and Temple of Malady to add green, black, and scries one when it ETBs. Lathral is not only an incredible commander, but one that seemingly grows in popularity month on month. It's certainly one I've had my eye on for a while. Those elves go wild. There we have it, that is the $40 budget Lathral deck tech. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe down below for all things MTG. Check out our link tree in the description box below for our social media and affiliate links. For now though, I'm all tapped out, so I'll see you in the next video.